Right. The way she walked, the way she looked, the way she talked. I knew it. And now I'm finding out you're 26. She's fucking 40. The ex-fucking husband lives with you. You took the last name. What is happening here? The boys are trash talking over a woman. I mean, when are the boys stopping this? Probably not soon enough. These boys are ready to bang. The hatred between the two has just reached an ultimatum. At this point, I don't even know whom to feel sorry for. Is it Ian or Sean? Both of them have entangled themselves in a quicksand that is sinking as we speak. The player here is none other than Ian's wife. And this is what is making the entire drama even more dramatic. If you were waiting for Ian to show up physically and not behind the texting Sean, your prayers have been partially answered. After the UFC middleweight champion, Sean Strickland unapologetically lended a hand towards Ian after he felt Ian was drowning in the wrong marriage, Ian's shocking response has sent the entire MMA community into a frenzy. Let's take a closer look into the drama because with each passing day, this is becoming crazier. Stay tuned till the end because apparently Ian has planned something super big. So, Sean Strickland is known to not speak about fighters' personal life. He wasn't that person ever. But something has been happening in the MMA community that changed his approach completely. Some might disagree, but there are over a million people supporting Sean in this. Out of the blue, Strickland took to Instagram and posted a video wherein he just stripped off. Layla, figuratively, of course. Sean's concern for Ian was oozing out in the video. He told that this woman is wrong. She is not good for Ian. Now, why would Strickland be even interested in Ian's personal life? That's only because Layla, Ian's wife, happened to write a book on how to be a wag. It's funny, because even Strickland had no idea what that word meant. MMA community, no offense to the fighters, but does anybody want to be a wag, a woman who is a girlfriend or a wife of a sports star? Well, sounds like a lot of money, huh? Yes, that's exactly what that book is all about. No wonder Sean was blown away, and he jumped into saving his so-called brother Ian. Sean was so moved, he took to Twitter to write, I almost feel bad for Gary at this point. Strickland also made a video post in support of Ian and shamed Layla for being unapologetically brutal about her manipulation ways. Man, she wrote a complete book. Well, I wouldn't have expected Ian to be quiet in this situation, given the fact that he knows what his girl has been doing. So Ian was certainly not pleased with Strickland's comment. Ian jumped into Sean's inbox and threatened to sue him if he didn't take down the video and for spreading lies and hate. That's way too much. Both Strickland and Gary are big names in the MMA community. Both are undefeated champs in their own weight class. This entire situation is like a big ego issue, and none of them are handling it well. Sean became furious. At this point, I don't know what his next response is going to be. Maybe he might challenge Ian for a fight, even before his scheduled fight with Duplessis. After Sean leaked the screenshots of his conversation with Ian, Ian wouldn't have sat quietly. He puts up a video message on Instagram, which is almost making Layla look like a goddess. My wife is the most intelligent person I have ever met. That's why I married her. That's why I fell in love with her. She is awesome. That's what he had to say in Layla's defense. Ian was very direct and he pointed out that he and his wife will not sit back if anybody talks bad about them. They will fight back. Ian then reposted his wife's video, asking all to listen to her true explanation. Now, here is where I lost Ian. Obviously, his wife could give a better explanation, but Ian could have also explained from his side. And trust me, when Ian says that his wife is intelligent, she is. She tells us that the book is like a satire. It's hardly an 11-page audible satire story. She thinks that it was more of a light-hearted podcast. It's silly, and it was ahead of its time. Now, I think, being silly, is the only possible polite cover-up when you know that you are exposed. Is the content of the book that silly? To become the best seller? I don't think so. Even several of the couple's detractors have claimed that the book encourages females to use deceitful means to ensnare and financially exploit famous sports persons. This book also contains interviews of other wags. So you are telling me that this book is just silly? No, completely not. It doesn't sound silly to me. It sounds manipulative. It sounds like Ian needed to be saved. There's another issue that had really caught up to Sean. Sources say that Layla's first husband, Richard Cullen, lives with Ian and Layla. These are rumors, but what's actually true here is that back in 2021, it was Layla who brought Richard into Ian Gary's company as a sports nutritionist. And now Richard travels with Gary's family. 
So either this woman is too clever and manipulative, or Ian has just completely fallen head over heels in love with her, or it's both. The issue here is that this fight is no longer a private thing. The entire MMA community, perhaps the whole world is watching. Everybody knows about this. Big UFC stars are now giving their attention. The former two-division UFC champion Daniel Cormier also shared some light on the whole Ian Gary issue on his YouTube channel, where he says, Ian Gary is a great kid, but just like Jake and Logan Paul tried it, there's no suing bruh. You cannot try to sue nobody bro in fighting. You just have to go at him in different way. That's just the way it is. Am I saying Sean is right? No, you don't talk about spouses. I only went down that path one time. But you don't sue him. You handle it in other ways. There's no crying in baseball. There's no suing in fighting fellas. That's what I am talking about. Are we potentially going to see something happening inside the ring? Will it be Strickland versus Gary? Well, if you thought this is the only elite who has given attention to this case, you will be shocked because there's one more. The ex-UFC welterweight Jake Shield was one of the first people to have even pointed out this controversial book. In a tweet made on the 25th of November, Jake says, Before they dated UFC fighter Ian Gary's 40-year wife wrote a book teaching young girls how to bang and date professional athletes. Apparently, her ex-husband also lives with them. This is worse than the, the entire Logan Paul situation. After Jake found out about the whole Gary suing Strickland, he is strictly against the lawsuit. He is clearly with Strickland for exposing Ian's wife on writing an entire book on how to make a connection into sleeping with pro athletes. Jake implied in his tweet that both the fighters should settle the matter like fighters. They should fight, and that would be more honorable. Now let me make this clear. There is no other way than a fight, simply because the UFC can't afford to be seen in another lawsuit. Dana White will definitely not approve of this. Right now, UFC could be in a serious trouble, because both Dana White and UFC have long been accused of having exploitative contracts, underpaying fighters. UFC is facing a class action lawsuit against over a thousand figures, and what appears to be in line is the entire UFC business. Recently, Dana White was handed a rejection to reopen discovery by Judge Bulware. Dana White has been trying to drag the lawsuit through judiciary and has been again accused of using stalling tactics to delay it. So, another courtroom situation is not going to make Dana White happy. It is impossible to even think that Dana isn't aware of the situation between the two fighters. But it is better that he doesn't make any comment right now, because that would elevate the situation even more. In case Ian actually goes on to file a suit, that's when I believe Dana is going to make an appearance. The UFC legal team is triggered enough to handle one more defamation case against one of its brightest fighters. Dana White is not letting UFC lose his money or fighters. This lawsuit is never going to happen, and Dana will be required to step in, either to make the two trash talkers fight, or to just stop Ian from filing a suit. None of the both is going to be easy, more since Strickland already has a fight fixed with Duplessis, and the winner of the fight will go against Kamzat Chimeyev. Even Ian is scheduled to fight Vicent Luke at UFC 296 next month. So things are quite packed up. Strickland and Gary are all over Twitter. More than settling the matter, fans are going crazy and they want to see a match. Even though I believe a match between the two might not seem to be happening right now, but if Dana gives more attention and makes it happen, this match will receive a massive watch time. Both Strickland and Gary have a crazy amount of followers, and honestly, even I don't know whom to support. I just want Ian to understand that, yes, his wife was much ahead of time. She knew how to manipulate Ian, and here she is, living a beautiful life. Strickland didn't have any bad intentions, but Ian has just made the matter worse. I can't wait to see what response Strickland has to give next. What do you think will happen? Make sure to comment and tell me do you want these two guys to fight. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time.